here, look. And a very warm welcome to our guests, and thank you for your very helpful contributions and your very individual approaches and contributions. Just to raise a few questions, I belong to a body of people who greatly aspire to United Ireland, but who, who believe that a referendum shouldn't be held until we're at the point that it will be much more than a 51-49 situation, that there would be very strong support for United Ireland and that there would be a consensual situation, because otherwise it's the view of people like me that you would create one, what was the nationalist objection to the existing state would be just flipped. And uh, we don't want that. So um, you might comment on that as a panel or anyone that wants to take it up. I was interested, uh, Paul, I think it was our Colin, uh, Professor Harvey, in some of the, the propositions that you had. I certainly agree with you about expanding the shared island unit and, and that. And you might want to elaborate on other ways that we could prepare, but I think that's a very, very good point. I do think it's about building relationships and putting, bringing people together. I'm just, and to come pretty finally to the Scottish nationalist people, and you're all very welcome, I would like to ask you uh, to do a little bit of crystal ball gazing in terms of where do you see your independence at now, when do you think you might have another referendum, and how, what are recent opinion polls suggesting and data that you're collecting in terms of the future. Um, it, but, yeah, and I, I mean, I don't think I want to elaborate beyond that, other than to say that I just would be interested in my reaction. I sincerely believe that we should be planning, we should be bringing people together, we should be united. And the interesting proposition about Belfast, while I might not totally go with it, it's creative, it's different, and we've got to be creative. That we cannot, it will have to be a creative solution, ultimately, and it will have to give expression to all the traditions of the island and all the groupings. So, but my broad con uh, proposition to you, and interested in your reaction, is that we should wait until we have a very, we have statistic data to suggest that there'd be a very strong majority for a United Ireland and that we shouldn't move before that. Thank you. Thank you.